Hi there, today we are making a teardrop pearl lariat necklace. Tools today include our round nose pliers, wire cutters, and bent chain nose pliers. Our materials today are all sterling silver. The first is the petal charm, the coin pearl, the round pearl, the one and a half 26 gauge ball head pin, 24 gauge 2 inch piece of wire, and our flat cable chain. Getting started, we take the piece of 24 gauge wire. Using the round nose pliers, you make a tiny little circle, tiny little hole that we're going to weave the end of the wire through the end link of our chain. It's going to go into that hole so we can secure that in there. Now we want to make the circle nice and round. Don't want it to be too bent or too oval. Now grasp the tip there without, try not to grab the chain because you might uh, bend part of the chain there. And then we just wind the wire around a little coil. Typically two to three coils should be good, um, whatever style you're doing, but for this specific necklace it's about two to three coils. Then you cut the excess off there and we'll secure the rest down, straighten out the wire and put on our six millimeter pearl, it's a round pearl, then we're going to make another loop leaving just a few millimeters below for the coil. Our round nose pliers have one finer end than the other. We use the finer end for a smaller loop. Then we put the pedal charm connecting the wire to the small end of the pedal charm. Again, grip the, the loop of the wire. Try not to mark the charm. And then coil around again. You want to make sure that the pearl is secure and it's not going to wiggle around in there so hopefully the measurement of your coil has worked out so there's not it the coils are even so you should have two to three coils on each end you can always cut off the excess right we're not going to use that whole two inches of wire and then tighten it up put that end of the wire tuck it in underneath the last coil there and that should be a nice secure end there. So that is the loop end of our lariat. Now we're going to measure it out. Lariat necklaces tend to have to be a few inches longer than your average necklace because they need to go through the loop so a 16 or 18, 18 inch won't be lo quite long enough. Try 20 to 24. Now take the ball head pin and it put through the coin char the coin pearl and bending that switch the pliers over so we have the finer section the finer loop to make our the finer side to make our loop make the loop and put that through now this chain that we're using here is our f uh, flat cable chain that's very fine um, very fine holes in the link so the 26 gauge should go through fine. Um, it's 24 gauge went through, so the 26 gauge should be okay. Sometimes it can be a little challenging, but it's a good size. It's not. It's not a like 28 gauge might not be strong enough to hold a pearl or a bead that that onto this chain. So now that we have that on, again, grip the loop. Try to avoid the chain and the pearl. You don't want to, you want to scratch the pearl. So and then twist, gently twist. Probably going to use the entire, entire head pin here. You won't have to cut any off. And just make sure that it is tightly secure. It. You can either tuck it under the coil or squeeze it as close as you can get and there you have a lariat necklace 
no claps and you can just put that right through the petal there it's very pretty thank you